This sounds so much better, dude. Do you guys remember the very first angle build? I didn't really like the first angle we did. <clears throat> Do you guys remember that? I really did not like the first angle we did. So hopefully this is a little better. Oh, my box is not better though. Oh well, it's just a box. Uh, so the box is nice. The presentation of the entire keyboard is really cool. So I like the presentation of everything. Okay, pins. Some of this is gonna be a little different from the first time we did this. But if you guys recall the first one, the first time we did one, I did not like it. So this is number Alex Odos. Cool. Yeah, the first time we, we ever did this, oh, I forgot to do this, hold on guys. The first time we did this, it's gonna be a little shaky. I did not like the, um, the angle, but hopefully it's a lot better. The, they told me there was a bunch of changes made, so. All right, so we have foam and we have PE foam. PE foam I'm not gonna use. I probably will experiment with the uh, mid plate foam here, because I know when we built it last time, uh, during the last rebuild, I ended up having to take out all the foam entirely. So I know what the keyboard should sound like without any foam. Bruh. What we sipping? A White Claw, the strawberry one. That's all I have. I don't have. I don't really feel like drinking an iced tea. And uh, I, I'm don't feel like drinking water. I want something refreshing. Another lavender board. Can't complain, dude. I can't complain. Lavender's lovely. Oh, they engraved the name again. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. So I don't have um, the vertex angle here with me. It's at my parents' place. I think I'm gonna go grab it next week just so I can do some comparison photos. Ooh, this is very pretty color. You know, I have to admit, lavender and lilac color keyboards right now, the best. Uh, no joke, this hobby is more dangerous than drugs. <laughs> uh, so many pretty boards and I want to get them all. You just have to pace yourself and remember. And I wish more, um, I know a bunch do already, but I wish it was brought up more from other content creators as well. But um, financial responsibility is really important in this hobby. Because, I mean, let's be honest, guys. It's really easy to spend a lot in this hobby. Let's just be honest. You, you could uh, get in over your head fairly quickly, not realize it, and then be in a bunch of debt. The lilac looks very pretty, agreed. PCB hasn't really seen too much in terms of uh, what's different here, which is good. So we still have a pretty nice PCB. A lot of options. Actually, not really for solder. I looked at that wrong. Not really a huge ton of options here in case you wanted something different, but it does look like it does support ISO. I think it does. It does have split left, does have step caps and regular caps, no split backspace. Not that you'd probably want it for your TKL and no split right. Split right, I don't mind on a TKO. This is a very uh, interesting color. It's like a smoky color. Well, this is cool. This is polycarbonate. This feels thin for polycarb. Cool color. It's almost like a brown. I kind of dig this. This is neat. It's like a smoky brown almost. Maybe that's just my desk. Nah, there's definitely a hint of yellow brown in there. That's nice. Is there anything uh, prospective clients shouldn't send for their builds. I would say just don't bother shipping out keycaps unless you don't want to put them on yourself. It only adds to the box size and it just adds to the overall cost of shipping. I think people forget about that because they kind of want to see their build all together, but it does add like an unnecessary cost. Uh, any plans to design my own board? I think at one point I really wanted to, but now I don't care. I have no real want or will to do so. It's not really where my passion lies. Like I don't think I want to design a board. I like the community aspect way more. Uh, what is the desk that you use? It's from Ikea. It's called the Ek Ekbakken, Ektibakken. Have you had a personal raw aluminum keyboard? No, I kind of want one now though. I think it was Regan who showed me one and I'm like, yo, I need one. Okay, I think that's all the gaskets we're using for today. 
there's a lot of extra gaskets. Oh, these are just lots of extras. I mean, that's good though. Do we put gaskets here? Click clack, do you know if we put uh, gaskets on the tops as well? I'm kind of curious if we have to. I don't think we actually have to. We do? Okay, we do. Yo, tweezers are actually a lifesaver in this hobby. I swear to goodness. God, dude, the PVD does look really nice on the inside though. That does look really good. That's really good quality. All right, this is not a piece of foam, by the way. This is just so if it makes contact with the bottom, it won't hurt it. Uh, what are the in-ears? Oh, the in-ears I use are uh, Mangrid Zens Up. I think if you type in exclamation point IEM, they might pop up. Is this gonna be way better? Yo, I'm, I'm having high hopes for this right now. I'll have you guys all know, very high hopes for this. Uh, overall build process was fine. All right, so let's just take a look at the keyboard one last time for anyone who hasn't seen this board. It's nothing new, so we're gonna just do a quick little brief overview on it. Pretty simple looking TKL, uh, pretty no frills on the side, I would say. Standard looking design. I think you'll find more of the um, design kind of happening here on the back with that black PVD weight, which I think looks pretty crispy if you do ask me. It says angle. A lot of the aesthetics were happening on the inside as well. And then you also have this little piece of uh, stone here, which depending on the angle you're looking at it does shimmer a little bit differently. But that's pretty much it when it comes to the aesthetics of this. It's pretty, uh, pretty standard. I like the bezel thickness too. It's not too bad. But let's, we're using H1 switches with 63 and a half gram triple stage Wuche springs. Uh, also some Wuche films, as well as GS2 lube on these. So let's see what this exactly sounds like. We are using the mid plate foam, no PE foam, um, and no foam underneath technically. All right. That already sounds a lot better. Oh, the alphas are really nice. I do think in the long run, I'll probably swap this to a long pull switch. This is a very soft typing experience as well. There's a lot of movement happening with this PCB. This sounds so much better, dude. It doesn't quite have like, it doesn't, I can hear some of that little bit of the foam that we put in the mid plate there or in between the plate and PCB. Uh, so that mid foam, I can hear some of that, but I don't hate it. I actually think it sounds really well balanced um, for this. You guys want to switch to the space bar? Should we do that quick? <clears throat> I brought two options, uh, a Lila switch or a bubble switch. I think we're gonna do the bubble, or sorry, the Lila, cause it's a little bit more of a longer pull. Should I just steal, hey, should I steal the stem and put it in the H1s? Is that what you guys want me to do? Should I just do that? All right, that's a lot louder of a switch. Ooh, okay, I like that a lot more. Okay. Hey. 
What? That made a huge difference, dude. Look at that flex too, crazy. Damn, okay, I'm thoroughly impressed by the changes in the angle. Thoroughly impressed. Uh, all we did was change the stem. That's literally all we did. Thoroughly impressed by the changes of the angle keyboard. The simple change of the spacebar completely altered my view of the board. Hey, it sometimes happens like that. That's not a bad thing. That's a great thing that we could uh, bolt to the keyboard like that. There's a lot of movement happening, which is obviously not gonna happen with normal key presses, but um, you can see how, how soft that is. Damn, big improvement. What a big improvement to this keyboard, dude. Very good redemption arc, dude. Probably one of the softest typing experiences on more of the higher priced customs as well for TKLs I've seen. All right though guys, have a good one. Love you guys, take care, peace out. You guys are big awesome, love you guys.